Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, today I'm going to do my current makeup routine. Um, it's very predictable, pared back, um, and what I've been wanting to wear lately. So, one thing I have to say is that I don't have a big mirror, um, you know, that you look in whilst you do your makeup because I broke mine. So, I'm just gonna have to use this. Um, it's not ideal, it's what we're working with. Um, I've already done my skincare, so if you want to know about that, I will link my skincare video here for you um, and I'll link it in the description. I put some lip balm on just so my lips are prepped for when I finish the makeup and put on a lip. Um, but first things first is concealer. I'm going to assess just how bad my under eye circles are today. They are not so bad so I'm going to use Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. Um, it looks like this. It's cocoa. 13 cocoa. So I take that under the eyes quite far down and I kind of make a big V. This isn't like super super like light and highlighting like some people like their concealers. This is just to match my skin so you might not be able to see that too clearly but that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I also take it on my upper lip because there's some discoloration there unfortunately. Then I like to take a cosmetic sponge and then I like to press that into the skin. If there's any extra product I take that right up to my cheekbones. Once I'm happy with that I go in with powder. Um, I do use a slightly lighter powder just because it's brightening and this is the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Um, I don't know if this has a colour shade. It's this one. It used to be my sister's but she kindly gifted it to me because I think it was just a tad too light for her. And with this I used a different part of the same sponge and I dipped my sponge into the product and then I pack that into the skin. I'm taking quite a lot of product and I know it looks scary, but this is called baking. Um, and I find that it's necessary because I have such oily skin. Um, the powder helps offset that. While this bakes, I actually won't be using any foundation on my skin. I've been like quite embracing just my natural skin. So what I will go in with now is contour. My go-to is, as always, the Dark Face Contour Kit by Sleek. I take this square foundation brush from um, Real Techniques um, because you can kind of get the product exactly where you want it. And then I suck in my cheeks and then draw a line. And I kind of go from my tragus to the corner of my lip, but I don't go all the way because that would be way too harsh. And then I bring some of the product up towards my hairline just to make it look a little bit more natural. Give that C shape. I don't usually do this, but because I am filming, I take some of it underneath here to give me a stronger looking draw. So just taking that under the chin. If I really wanted to, I could also come down here and join that all up, but I'm not that bothered. 
Next, I'm going to take this powder brush and then I'm going to go in with this. I think this is by Revolution. This is the Glow, um, how do you call it? Bronzer. Um, I've never had a bronzer before um, for my skin tone. Um, I know that some have existed for a while, so this isn't um, anything new, but in terms of like accessibility and price point, um, I don't think there's ever been like a drugstore um, bronzer for dark skin shades or such a wide range of skin shades in the shop, at least in the UK before. So I know this was like a huge thing when this came out. So I swirl the product and then suck in again and then I'm going to follow the contour line but go up a little bit more. take it on my nose and then also I take it across the forehead as if you know I have been kissed by the sun um, and then like a little bit on my chin um, I might go in with a little bit more bronzer that's done I'm now going to go in with this real techniques brush and um, this is a contour brush um, I like that it's kind of fluffy and I'm going to wipe away what I've been baking and then I just dust off the excess on my inner forearm This is what I would call like quite an intense bake. This is kind of what you'd probably go for more if you're doing like a full face of makeup. Um, but as I said, I get oily. Um, I am also going to just go in with this foundation brush and kind of like try and brush some more of that away. Um, but if you didn't want this effect, you could just put the powder on all of the bits and then start taking it off on the first place you put it. And now just to kind of blend that all together, I'm just going to take whatever's left over on this powder brush that I used for bronzer um, and just kind of blend that together. Just so that doesn't look weird. Um, I don't like to put any product on my forehead. One, because it's two tones, because I'm darker, I don't know whether it is just years of sun damage, um, just where the sun hits me, but I do have a darker patch um, of skin around here, and then obviously in the centre and just above where my brow should be, it's lighter, so I find it weird to just put like one shade all across my forehead, and also I don't like way that product doesn't kind of adhere to my forehead it just looks weird I prefer to leave it looking natural and shiny because I just think that looks so much nicer than um, product looking weird and making the skin look weird if I did want to I could put on a little bit of powder this is the NYX or can't stop won't stop um, setting powder I have this in medium deep so this is again just like the same color as my skin if I had gone in with my um, the ordinary coverage foundation in 3.2 n deep neutral and um, to kind of set that i would have gone in with this powder but as i said all i used was concealer so now i'm going to zoom in and do my eyes for my eyes i'm gonna go in with something darker in the crease and then like a nice warm color on the lid for the crease i'm gonna be using well, for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Venus Lime Crime Palette. Um, this is the first one, I believe. And I'm going to go in with the shade Icon, which is just this deep um, brown shade here. And I'm using a Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush. I'm going to swirl that in the product, tap off any excess, and pop that in my crease. I am then going to get a flat brush. 
So this is the Lossy London. I don't know what brush this is, but it's just basically like a round, flat brush um, for um, eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Creation here. This really nice warm shade. This is exactly the kind of shade I like to go for on my eyes. Really load up and like push into the palette here and try and load up as much product on the um, brush and then I like to try and pat that into the um, onto the lid and kind of like pack that in. With that just to kind of diffuse the edges of the darker crease um, eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with crematorium which I used on the lid and I'm gonna just get this real techniques um, kind of fluffy eyeshadow brush um, put it into the product tap it off and then I'm just gonna kind of um, blend the edges But I do want to go for something a little bit lighter in the center of the lid. So I'm just going to get a tiny, tiny um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Divine, this here. Um, and then I'm going to just put that in the center of the lid. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I like the way that's looking. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. Usually I like to go for like a no mascara look. I've really been loving that look. Um, but I feel like this eye is slightly too dramatic for that. If I'm going for the um, like no mascara look, I prefer to keep the shades very close to my skin color. So what I used on the lid, I would put that in the crease and then use like a slightly torpy um, brown that's kind of closer to my skin color but a bit lighter on the lid and I think that looks really nice with that mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Paris um, Air Volume Mega Mascara because I've used it before and it's been good. highlight now this is unconventional but I like using this blush by NARS um, as a highlight it is orgasm which is like um, what's the word it's their iconic cult product um, and I just get the um, travel size because I use it as highlight not blush and I actually no before that I'm gonna put on some blush first and then put the highlight on top because that's the correct steps to do. Um, I'm just gonna grab a, this is another buffing brush, foundation brush, and I have got this beautiful orange brush that I've been loving. Um, I don't know what the brand is called. Oh, it's Revolution Beauty. Um, this is the color in the pan. Um, I have been loving orange blush. I don't know why I didn't get onto it sooner, but it's gorgeous, at least on my skin tone. One second, the door just went. Hello again. As I was saying, um, I'm just gonna put on some blush. So I like to smile and pop it on the apples of my cheeks and then slightly higher. I like to kind of go heavy on blush because I think it's really cute and I kind of wish I could blush. I think it's such a lovely thing. I just think it looks lovely. And then I take any excess and I just pop that on my nose because I just think that looks nice. And some on my chin too. And then now I'll go in with the NARS blush as a highlight. I use the Luxe 
Sheer Cheek Brush by Zoeva and I use this part um, that kind of sticks up and then I just kind of swoosh it in the product suck in and then pop it on my cheekbones the high points of my cheeks and then I like to kind of put it over the brow bone and kind of do like a C shape and then I like to take any that's left and pop that on my nose that's a recurring theme here um, another brush so this is the Zabiba Luxe Soft Definer um, and then I just like to put that on my like filtrum just to kind of highlight that part of my lip And then I like to put some at the bottom of my nose because I think that looks cute. Now for lips, I'm going to do some lip liner and lipstick and a gloss because that's kind of my go-to thing. I am using these Max Factor Color F Elixir lip pencils. Um, I'm going to define my lip with the brown color which is brown and bold and then I'm going to fill that in with this brownie pink colour which is called brown and nude uh, and just try and fill in the rest of the lip I don't know if you can tell but it's a really just wa nice warm pink that really complements my skin tone and then I just kind of like smack my lips together just to kind of start blurring the edges and then I'm going to go in with this lipstick called Rumba and I think this is Revolution Beauty as well it's a brown nude colour so that's what it looks like by itself. I'm thinking the blush looks a bit ham on camera but it looks lovely in real life. Um, I'm thinking should I add gloss? I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna add gloss which is not usual for me. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so I can see but yes this is the final look. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed following along with me. Um, this is like my typical makeup look. Um, I just think it's really pretty, nice and glowy um, and dewy and very, to some degree, natural. Why is the blush? I think it looks really natural. I look nice and healthy and like sun-kissed. So. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time with another one. Bye!